new developments in the search for a man in the water off Milford. That search turning into a recovery mission now. It was suspended for the night about two hours ago. That's right, and that search spanning the waters off Silver Sand State Park. It's a popular place to be during the summertime. Police say that 28-year-old man washed away while he was there with a friend on Charles Island. News Eight's Mario Boone live there tonight in Milford with the very latest. And Mario, now we know the name of the man that police have been looking for. Family members told me the name of the missing man just a little while ago. We do have that information. As you can see, we're outside the park. It is now closed. And as you said, that search expected to resume tomorrow. Take a look. New since six, family members tell News 8 the 28 year old man swept off a sandbar at Silver Sand State Park is George Swaby of Milford. This is only my second time here, so there's yeah, something like that is devastating. Leonard Nixon told me he was on the beach Friday as rescuers spent more than six hours searching for Swaby. My condolences go to the family for their loss. Finally, suspending their efforts at 8 p.m. Is the victim presumed? deceased at this point? Yes, we do. We do assume that simply because the amount of time he's been missing. Swaby, the youngest of five siblings, was originally from Jamaica. He was with his longtime friend, seen here in the blue shirt, who was also swept away but survived. He told me off camera his swimming skills helped save his life. Authorities said he was also wearing a life vest. The sandbar may look inviting. Uh, it's best to remain off of it. And that is the advice that emergency workers hope everyone will take away from this tragedy to stay off that sandbar. Now, of course, we will continue to monitor this story. And as soon as we learn more details about the search for that missing man, we will post it first on WTNH.com. We've got you covered live in Milford tonight. I'm Mario Boone, News 8. A lot of heartache there tonight, Mario. Thank you. And we want to thank our viewers as well. We got quite a few reported photos and videos of that helicopter searching that area earlier today. And be sure to let us know whenever you see news happen. Take a picture or some video if you can and then send it to us to report it at WTNH.com or use that free report it feature right there on the News 8 app.